and start a new project. What we're going to do is the first option, layering each floor plan as a separate DXF file. That's the initial building model. Setting our weather database. It's a four story building and the floor height from the relative elevations is from floor slab to ceiling grid is 3 metres, the depth of the void is 0.6 of a metre and the thickness of the slab is 0.2 metres. We then source the DXF files that have been written from the Revit model. So we go back to the original Revit model, into the original building folder and we retrieve our DXF files. There's the entry level as displayed and we continue the process up through the building until we reach the roof level. We then set the orientation of our building so we get the correct pathing of the sun around our model for cooling load purposes. This then takes us into the SIMAP building program where we can nominate our construction elements or we can actually from first principles calculate the U value by constructing elements ourselves. We'll then just select a glazing type and we'll create a profile. At this point we can decide whether we wish to define the rooms by hand. Well, the purpose of this exercise is to bring the model in from Revit so we'll decline that option and what we can then do is grab the GBXML geometry that's been created from the Revit model. We then go back to the Revit model itself, the original building and there is the original XML file that's been written. Healthy list of ticks there shows all the rooms are okay, they should be because they're okay in Revit and then we import that model. And there you can see we've then created our building.